From the WBBZ TV studio in the Eastern Hills Mall, it's time to play. Where two teams come together in a battle of wits to determine who will leave with bragging rights. And now, here's your host, John DeShino, with today's two teams. Listen to that crowd. Unbelievable. What a crowd, what a show, what a show. You know, it kind of reminds me that back in my day when I did a little stand-up comedy, I'd tell jokes like this. You know, I used to work in a tailor shop. Somebody would say, you did? Yeah. When anybody uh, wanted a perfect fit, I'd come out and throw one. Yeah, we'll, we'll in insert the drum roll there. Today's show, you know, there's nothing like good comedy, and that was nothing like good comedy. We have teams from comedy sports that are here, and these folks are funny, aren't they? Yeah, they are. On the red side, the Red Hot Wings from comedy sports. And on the blue side, the Blue Cheeses. With a special team member. Yeah, and we have some lovely ladies from Liberty Cab. If you're looking for a hometown ride, these ladies and the Liberty Cab Company will take you anywhere you need to go. Say hi to Liz and Zanda Lee. Hello, Liz and Zanda Lee. <laughs> Liz and Zanda Lee, you look terrific. We're happy to have you back. And uh, so if you're watching shows, you like to laugh? You like a lot of comedy, Liz? Oh, yes. <laughs> Zanda Lee, what was your favorite comedian that's out there? Um, that's a hard one. Um, I'd have to say, I don't know. Yeah, that's okay. Didn't mean to put you on the spot, but some people have their favorite comedians. And no. the comedians that are here are really sort of actors, and we're going to meet them and find out what they're all about and why they're here to have some fun with us. So I'm going to come over and introduce you to the team captain. And this is Kelsey. Kelsey, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing today, John? I'm doing great, Kelsey. So tell me, first of all, about comedy sports. Sure. Comedy sports is competitive improvisational comedy. Like if you've ever seen the TV show, Whose Line Is It Anyway? We play short form games, but there's a competition. There's two teams that play. There's a winner at the end of the night. There's a referee. Uh, it's for all ages. Everyone can come check it out. And, and in Buffalo, this is our 25th anniversary this year. 25 years. And, yep. and take a look because this is what comedy sports looks like when you're out at the theater where is the uh, where's the venue uh maine and harlem in amherst new york we're in snyder square and 25 years of doing this but you haven't been there all 25 years kelsey uh, i have not no <laughs> Yeah, these folks look like they're having a great time. And uh, like you said, Whose Line Is It Anyway? The show that Drew Carey started on ABC uh, many years ago uh, is reminiscent of this, but uh, the audience participates, right? Yeah, absolutely. We ask them for all sorts of suggestions. We have no idea what our comedy is going to be about until they tell us. Well, and then they also get to pick the winner at the end of the night. Wow. And we're, who are the uh, team players that you have with you on the show? Yeah, absolutely. This is John. Hello. And John. this is Mike. Hello. John and Mike. There you are. Hello. And they're in the red. They're on the red side. How about that? I'm going to come over now and introduce you to the team captain. We have a special guest who we'll introduce you to in another segment. But you are... I'm Brian. Brian, how are you? I'm doing great. Good to be here. Great. We just saw a little bit of video from yep. uh, Comedy Sports. And uh, what got you involved? What do you like about it? Uh, man, there is nothing I like more than getting the reaction from the fans. Like, if I say a funny joke, they laugh. <laughs> Yeah, that's, it's nothing like that. John. There's nothing like that. There's nothing like a fake laugh. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. What else? What else do you do for a living? Uh, at comedy is it? I run comedy sports. Wow, good for you. I don't run it, but the owner isn't here to tell me that. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> so there's a little bit of that uh, edge to your comedy. But not yeah. in a politically incorrect way. No, no. Uh, our comedy sports matches are all ages for everyone shows. So you can bring an eight-year-old kid. We have birthday parties there. Uh, but it, they're for adults, too. The adults aren't going to be bored there. We, we play for the, the adults, but we don't say any of the swears. Yeah, you don't need that. And that's, we don't do that on bragging rights. Who do you have on the team with you? Uh, right over here, I've got Scott. He's been playing comedy sports since 2013. And I've got Snorch, one of our newest players, been playing about a year. Snorch, all right. Who says fun but Snorch? He does look good. All right. We'll hear from Snorch in a little bit. All right. Xander Lee and Liz are over the scoreboard. Take a look. You want to get your X's or your O's across, up and down or diagonally. That gives you a bonus of 50 points. You're playing for points. 10 points in the first round, 20 in the second, 30 in the third. If you win, in addition to promoting the 25 years of comedy sports, you'll become eligible for three large screen LED HD TVs if you become the winning team. And they know that because many, many years ago, Comedy Sports was one of the first contestants on Bragging Rights when it started in 2014, and they won those TVs. Let's see if they can do it again. <laughs> Never know. All right, a couple minutes, we got to play a game, right? The red team is up. Kelsey, take a look at the scoreboard. Where do you want your red X to go? Excellent. We're going to do B2. Ooh, B2, like the bomber. The Three Stooges, they were active from 1922 and 1970. Over that time, 
how many stooges were there? A, four, B, five, or C, six? Ooh, all right. It was a Shemp, yeah. Joe, mm -hmm. Curry, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Larry yes. Moe, so it was five. Excellent. So what do, you think, what, what do you think the answer is? Oops, it sorry. might have been five, but maybe six. Five. 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 We're, we're going five. Five. Six. Six, Ugh. yes. And we'd, we'd like, like to go with C6. Mo Howard, Larry <laughs> Fine, Curly Howard, Shemp Howard, Joe Besser, and Curly Joe Dorita toward oh, the end. Joe. Yeah, remember Curly, Curly Joe, Joe yeah. All right, we didn't have uh, any luck with that, but we have follow-up question to that. Blue cheese is where do you want your O to go? Uh, we're going to steal B2 from under their noses, Let's please. steal it. Here's a follow-up. All three Howard brothers only appeared together in one film as the Stooges. Curly made a cameo appearance after his retirement due to a stroke. This also marks the only time you see Curly's hair. Hmm, let's take a look. We'll see. Psst. I'll bet that's him. Take it off. <laughs> what is that, a cocky spaniel? No, I think it's just a spaniel. That's not him. Classic guys, those three stooges and uh, his brothers. All right, so what is the name of that historic short? Was it A, Hold That Lion, B, Malice in the Palace, or C, Disorder in the Court? It looks like a palace. palace yeah, it was palace. a palace setting for sure. B, the palace one. Malice in the Palace. Oh, so close. Nope, it's A. Hold, Hold that lion. lion. Yeah, the only time they ever <laughs> appeared together. And Larry Fine, by the way, not a brother. All right, so let's take a look at the score. What is it, Liz and, Z and Zandali? Hmm. We're at zero and zero. Oh my gosh, goose eggs. Hi. Yeah, so <laughs> there's only one way to go, and that's up. When we go to the break, let's take a look at where you can find out more information about comedy sports. We'll be right back right after this. Great theme that Joe Malucci and the band cooked up. Theme from Bugs Bunny and uh, Light the Lights. We're having fun on Bragging Rights tonight. I'm here with the Liberty Ladies, Liz and Zanda Lee. And Liz, this is your daughter. Introduce us to your daughter. Yes, this is Liliana. Liliana. She's 11. This 11. is my oldest. Yeah, and Liliana, <laughs> you, you you do a lot. You, you've been in shows and on stage. And you're, you play musical instruments. What do you do? I play the viola, and I'm also in chorus. Good for you. And, and I hear that you're pretty good at school. Tell me about that. I'm in advanced math. Wow, Liz, you were saying she's gonna take college courses soon? Yes. Wow, that's terrific. Well, good luck to you. Maybe you'll play uh, with the comedy sports team. Where do you see them? They're in a, yeah, ooh, yeah, you got the luck. Give that again, Liz. You got competition. Give that again, Lily. Yeah, bam, okay. And Liberty Cab is all over Western New York. If you'd like to go to Amherst and visit comedy sports, and you know, you might want to party a little bit, that's okay. Liberty Cab will take you home. You want to get that ride safe, right, Liz? Yes, you do. And Zandali, where, what is the website where people can find out more about you? www.libertycab.com. Libertycab.com. All right, Lily, you uh, can stay there with your mom if you'd like. If not, that's okay. We're back here on the game stage with the Red Hot Wings on the red side. <laughs> and they're playing against... The blue cheeses on the blue side. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we're going to come over and meet another member of the team on the Red Hot Wings. And you are? Uh, John Kehoe. John Kehoe. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm great. So what motivated you to get involved with comedy sports? Just maybe watch television one night and say, you know, I'm funnier than that person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I started watching uh, Whose Line, uh, uh, the English version, and I was like, mes you know, mesmerized by it. And uh, when I had the opportunity to do this, I jumped at it and I've been doing it ever since. And it's improv, so you're kind of making it up as you go along, but you're, so you're always sort of one step ahead and trying to read what the you other hope. person's doing. You hope you are, or you're on the same page. You want to be in, you know, team mind. You want to be at the same point at the same time. That's where the magic is. A lot of companies go to comedy sports as well, right? They have shared experience. We do. Oh, yeah. Uh, we've done a bunch of corporate things where we get uh, them involved, and it's, it, you know, it's a great time. It is a great time. Well, thanks for being here on the show on Bragging Rights, promoting the 25 years. And our next team contestant is Snorch. Snorch, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing great, Snorch. And uh, what kind of animal are you? 
Well, I mean, I don't think that I'm necessarily an animal. My last name is Monster, so that might give you an idea. Uh, so you are Snorch the Monster? Yep. And Snorch, do you participate in the comedy sports events? I do. Uh, we, we do matches called Flesh versus Felt. I believe the next one is October 7th, where we, the Felt, will beat the flesh every single time. My gosh, all right. So it, this, this could be a first here at Bragging Rights with the flesh versus the felt, all right? So you're gonna be, you're gonna be a team player, aren't you, aren't you, Snorch? Of course. All right, look at this, a good picture, huh? There he is. <laughs> I love that Snorch, love that guy, all right. Thanks. Oh, we're having a great time here on Bragging Rights. All right, what's the score as we get into round two, Liz and Zandali? We're still tied up at zero and zero. Zero to zero, there we go, <laughs> yeah. Okay, and uh, Lily, why don't you go maybe with Zandali on the other side? That way, yeah, that'll help a little bit better. That will be able to see the numbers and things. Okay, we're going to back to the game with you, Kelsey. Where yep. do you want your red X to go? We want C3. C3, where is it there? C3, ball, oh, beautiful. Okay, Lily's got it. She's owning the world. What was the first Bing Crosby, Bob Hope road movie? A, Road to Rio. B, Road to Singapore. C, Road to Hong Kong. Ah. Uh, no help from the audience. Well, let's see. Let's see. Comedy Sports does lots of road shows where we take our show out to groups and perform for them at their locations. Uh, and that very Donkey much Kong. so tells me, yep, that the answer a. is B. A. Uh, but also A, a but more B. Let me see. No. <laughs> is it A or B, Kelsey? Uh, it's definitely B. All right, we're going to go with B. Oh, she is correct. Road to Singapore. <laughs> 1940. You see some of those movies on Offbeat Cinema. Blue Cheeses, you're next. Yes, uh, we would like to steal C3 from right underneath their nose. Steal C3? Well, they've already got the red X, so you've got to pick too another one. Too late for that, huh? Yeah. B2, then. Oh, very, very good. It's like the vitamin. Get a little shot there with Snorch. What was Lucy's last name on the Lucy Show? Lucy Show. A, Ricardo. B, Arnez. C, Carmichael. Well, she was brass in the statue. Right. Mm -hmm. And then she was. Well, there were two statues, though, so that's, that's going to be a little confusing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Two yeah. statues. Maybe that's her Carmichael? Carmichael. C. Woohoo! Yes, it <laughs> is. <laughs> the one and only Lucille Ball from Celeron, New York. Go down to that museum. Have you been to the museum yet, Kelsey? I was there last weekend, no joke. It's really great, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. It's fantastic. Got to yeah. check it out. It is a great place. All right, where would you like your Red X to go? Uh, we are going to take C2. Uh, C2. See if we can get a, a red X. What's the only native North American marsupial? Is it A, a bat, B, an opossum, or C, a vole? It's, it's O, possum. Mm -hmm. O, possum. Yeah. O, possum, please. O, possum. B. Oh, you are correct. Yes! <laughs> You don't think they were shy in school, do you, these kids? No, not at all. <laughs> okay, Blue Cheeses. Yeah, we're gonna go for uh, B1, B1. What is China's most populous city? A, Hong Kong, B, Beijing, or C, Shanghai? I'm, I haven't been to any of them, so I don't know. I have no idea. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of people. Hong Kong's big. Hong Kong is isn't, big. Isn't a question whether that's actually in China. We don't wanna get in trouble. Shanghai. C. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Population of 24 million, the biggest in the world. Maybe there'll be a comedy sports there someday. You never know, Kelsey. You want to start one with us? Sure, let's go. Excellent. We're on our way. <laughs> right after we help here in the mall. Okay, where would you like your red X to go? Uh, we will take C1. At the top, there it is. What was the name of King Arthur's sword? A, Galahad, B, Excalibur, or C, Lancet? Ah, uh, let's see. Well, it's definitely going to have a fancy name, like how for our 25th anniversary we're calling it the Gala. Wow. You know, something really fancy. Excellent! Yeah, yeah. Ex what do you think? We had a good caliber. Yeah, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. We're going to go with uh, Excalibur. It took a while, but B is the selection. I think you are correct. Wow. Yes. <laughs> Last question in this round goes to the blue cheeses. Gotta go for the block, C4. Let's try and get a block. Who is the Greek god of love? A, Eros, B, Apollo, C, Cupid. Pretty sure it's Snorch. Yeah, Snorch, yeah. Snorch is so Snorch. Snorch. Uh -huh. D, Snorch. Oh, well, uh, Snorch, we love you, babe. Felt versus flesh, but uh, is Apollo. it A, Eros, B, Apollo, C, Cupid, you say B? Apollo. Apollo. 
Oh, you just broke my heart. No, it is A. <laughs> Eros is the Greek god of love, yes. All right, well, that was the last question, right, Chad, in this round? All right. So we're going to, yeah, we'll take a look at the score. What is it, uh, Liz and Zandali? Uh, Red X is at 60 in the lead, and Blue O is at 40. Ooh, 60 to 40. Hey, you know what? It's still a good game because we have 30 points. That's what each question is worth. Plus, we're going to do a little improv when we come back. Bragging Rights on WBBZ-TV, your hometown television station, will continue after this from our sponsors. Great crowd here tonight here at Bragging Rights. Bill Yonke is the owner of Liberty Cab, and your lovely Liberty ladies are here, Liz and Zanda Lee. But, you know, Bill, we know you're a fun they're, guy. They're no joke. They are no joke. They are no, joke. no, they are not. And you're not a joke either. We have, we, we're just going to have a little fun. Um, we want to make sure that we can get a little bit of trivia in for Bill. I'm going to give you a joke and see if you can name the comedian. Uh, take my wife, please. Oh, Dangerfield. Mm, sort of. Or Henny Youngman. There we go. Or okay. Could be. Uh, how about, um, oh, it's, it was so cold. Uh, Buffalo. Yeah, no, that's right. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's Johnny Carson. Uh, and, and we'll do uh, one more. Um, no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I decided against it. Bill, we're going to do a little improv later on. You want to be a part of it? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, what's your website? It's www.libertycab.com, and that's no joke. Yeah, there you go. There's the line. Bill Yonke, Liberty Cab, he'll take you anywhere you want to go. Thanks, Bill. You exit stage right, right over here. <laughs> Bill Yonke is a proud sponsor of our show. We're having a little fun with our teams. On the red side, the Red Hot Wings. And on the blue side, the Blue Cheeses. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna come over and meet another Red Hot Wing down here, and you are? Hi, Mike. Mike, how are you? I'm doing well, how are you? I'm great, I love how you know you guys are loud and proud, you project, uh, do, have, you done, yeah, have you done theater before? Uh, a little bit, uh, mostly improv theater though. I like that uh, new every time, uh, every time we get out there. So it's very exciting. Yeah. What do you do for a living? Uh, mostly improv comedy, but uh, occasionally uh, we'll do frozen food taste testing. Mmm. Yes. Maybe with Rich Products, a company we know and love. Uh, yes, sure. I, I would do it with them if they call. Please, <laughs> I'm waiting. <laughs> okay. You. you heard it here. The eclairs are in need of help. All right. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having. You're welcome. Everybody's got such a and they're proud and they shamelessly promote just like I do. And you are? My name's Scott. Scott, how are you? What do you do for a living, Scott? I'm a professional yard sailor. Oh, so you go around and sell yards or you go around and buy stuff in yards? If you're buying, I'm selling or selling what you're buying. Ah, very good. You know, you can't, you can't trip these people up, I'm telling you. So uh, how long have you been with Comedy Sports? Uh, about five years. I took classes for about two years before that. All right, so you're involved, and it's a kind of a, it's not an athletic competition, but it kind of is in some way, right? Oh, yeah, it's very athletic. You could be asked to dance a ballet and then have to do, um, like, dig a pothole and then jump to the sky. So you have to do a lot. It sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, it is. It is, yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm moving on. I'm just, just because, you, you know, you just know when you've been topped, and I have to admit it, I've been topped. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Liz and Zandalee, what is the score as we get into round three? Um, Red X is at 60 in the lead, and Blue O is at 40. 60 to 40. We have an interesting scoreboard there. So Red X is you're up. Kelsey, take a look. Yes. We want C4. Boom! Do ah, you get this? You get a 50-point bonus. What sense is most closely linked to memory? A, sight, B, smell, or C, hearing? Ah, well, when people come to our shows, they definitely remember them later. So is it because they see us? No, they smell us. Yep, it's definitely that and one. The yeah, they smell us. We're going with smell. B. I smell something, and you are correct. Yeah! 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 for the red team. Yeah! 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 Woo, okay, that pretty much means the red team is really doing really well. Now, you know what, ladies? Just wave your magic arms, and we're going to clear the board. Leave the circles. The, the, oh, no, the, oh, your points stay up there. The points stay the same, but we clear the board to start. So blue cheeses anywhere you want on the board. B2. Okay, for 30 points, what river is spanned by the George Washington Bridge? Is it A, the Hudson, B, the Potomac, or C, the East? What river they were named the bridge? River. They were named the bridge after the river. So George, George Washington, Washington river. river. George Washington River. Yep. It's yep. Yep. Cross. We're going with the Hudson. A. Yes, you 30 are. 30 points for the blue team. 
I thought for sure. In a New York state of mind. Kelsey, you're next. Uh, we are going to take uh, B1. That was good. That means that they got a nice point up there. You're, and <laughs> we would also like a nice point. Would you like a nice point? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. And where would you like that point? Uh, B1. B1. All right. There it goes. What was the longest war in history? A, the Crusades, B, the War of the Roses, or C, the Hundred Years' War? Hmm. See, it was really not a hundred years. No, it wasn't it actually hundred years. No. Was any of them longer than the 25 years that comedy sports has been open? Oh, I don't know. Yes. Yeah, okay, excellent. Yes, all uh, of them. So did they have a big celebration at the end? Uh, uh, everyone died. Oh, okay, we're gonna go with the one where everyone died. What would that be? <laughs> oh, A. A, the stuck, Crusades. <laughs> you should've stuck with C, it is 100 years. <laughs> <laughs> 100 years war is the answer. Actually, 116 years, you were right. Uh, it was a little bit off. France and England, and France won. Okay, the blue cheeses are next. Yeah, Scorch, we, are. we need to hear from you too. Scorch, Scorch I'm sorry, I call them Scorch. I'm sorry, that's like yeah, Scorched right. Earth. I'm, I'm saying, I'm thinking that we uh, that we do B2. B2? Yeah. yeah. Well, you've already got an O on B2. Well, so. I would like two O's. <laughs> <laughs> like Cheerios. Where would you like your O to go? C2, we'll take C2. Thank you, that's C2. Close. That's close to B. What is the largest province in Canada? A, the Northwest Territories. B, Quebec. Or C, Saskatchewan. Biggest. Uh, oh, no. Tim Hortons is huge. Yeah, Tim, Tim Hortons is huge. a big company. Yeah, Tim Hortons, so Tim Hortons wasn't even I like an the Blue Jays. Northwest Territories. A. Well, I am Canadian, and when my dad says A, I go B. It is B. B. Oh. Quebec is <laughs> the largest province in Canada. All right, didn't get that. Sorry, Snorch, but we do have a Tim Hortons here in the mall for you to enjoy something. All right, let's take, before we get into our improv, let's take a look at the final score. Liz and Zandali from Liberty Cab, what is it? Uh, red is at 110 in the lead, and blue is at 40. So, so the red team, the Red Hot Wings, you are red hot. You are the Greg Royce champion. <laughs> and we're going to send everybody home with a great, you know what, these comedy sports folks, they need fans. And I'm telling you, Liberty Cab, thanks to Liberty Cab, we have a fan that actually, well, Look at that, it actually can cool you down while you enjoy the comedy. And we're giving everybody a gift certificate to Chef's Family Restaurant, Chef's Italian Restaurant, 291 Seneca Street in Buffalo, where family and friends meet to eat. Liz and, and Zandali, thank you very much for participating as our guest thank scorekeepers. You. Yeah, you girls look very nice. All right, and now we're gonna find out what improv is all about. This is a game called Try That On For Size, where you'll see how our players stretch their brains. John, give us a suggestion of an active activity. Uh, swimming. Swimming, excellent. We're gonna start with swimming, begin. Well, I'm swimming, try that on for size. I'm drying my nails, try that on for size. Well, I'm picking apples, try that on for size. I'm patting children on the tops of their heads, try that on for size. Well, I'm throwing out the garbage, try that on excellent. for size. Excellent, let's rotate our players. John, you're up, man. John, up, you're up. up. Okay. All right, your next suggestion is hopscotch. John, begin. I'm playing hopscotch, try that on for size. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm playing hopscotch too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm planting seeds and stumping them out. Try that on for size. I'm acting like a weird guy on television. Yeah, yeah you are. I'm planting gnomes. Try that on for size. Um, uh, I'm just, uh, I'm just uh, twerking. Yeah, he is, John, twerking. <laughs> Uh, so that's a little bit of improv. That's what you can see at C and, and Buffalo. Is twerking, is that it? That's right. Our winner tonight is John. Right. Give it up to John. All right. That's what Bragging Rights and Comedy Sports is all about.